Hey guys, welcome to my channel again. You know who it is, Joe Jaguar. Um, anyway, so this video is about a solar telescope. Now about two, two and a half weeks ago, January 25th, was my 50th birthday. And as you guys know, I already did a video, I have the 60mm Solar Max 2. Uh, now, Coronado's having a huge sale. Um, they had one about five or six months ago, and roughly, uh, depending what size you got, uh, but um, like the 70 millimeter version, three to four hundred bucks off uh, US, which is, you know, pretty decent. However, right now, and it's actually going on till the end of February, started since January, they're having... Um, a huge sale. Okay, this one here uh, is a 90 millimeter Solar Max 3, so the newest one, uh, the BF15. Uh, now, something like this, when I first got into the hobby in the 90s, to even the late 90s, this guy back then probably be at least eight, nine thousand bucks. Right now, it's on sale uh, about a thousand bucks US. Now, since I'm in Canada, um, and it's about 30% exchange rate. You know, you're looking at about $1,300 cheaper for me, and then plus taxes on that $1,300. You're looking at at least $1,500. That's a huge difference. So I went ahead, ordered this guy. It just came in about a week ago. There was only one clear sky or one day, uh, you know, because it is winter time. By the time I get home from work, the sun's almost setting at about 5.30. So I really can't do it in the daytime. Uh, and there was only one day and the weekend uh, since I got it that was clear and of course I was busy uh, Then I did take it out in the afternoon by the time I took it out the Sun was already past um, My balcony I uh, was still up, but I would have to take it downstairs um, And uh, the tripod the mount it would just be too heavy anyway, so um, if you guys are thinking of a solar scope type of thing the Coronado has huge sales on right now. You should go ahead and order this. Now, I got this guy from a dealer in BC. I'm going to give him a shout out because this is not the first time I ordered from him. Probably ordered six or seven times some things. Uh, and his name is uh, Harout. Um, and it's from Markanian Fine Optics. So if you guys are in Canada looking for uh, a great deal, uh, Harout will take care of you. Um, anyway, so I got this from him, so I support, you know, the Canadian dealer, especially if you live in Canada, why uh, order something from overseas if you can get it here and not worry about uh, extra shipping and handling, duty, customs, ex you know, excise tax and all that stuff, border taxes. So anyway, um, and as you guys know, um, I, some of my reviews, I, I'm straightforward, I don't, you know, uh, I don't only say good things. If there's some things I don't like, like the um, uh, a few of those uh, Christmas telescopes, I just said what I liked and what I don't like. Uh, the Mead LXD85, uh, I, I said some good things about it, and then I was a little harsh at the end. The Skywatcher uh, Focuser that I did on another, um, the 4-inch size, uh, there was a couple issues there. So, I, I don't... You know, I don't only say good things about products. I kind of tell you the goods, the bads, uh, and the ugly type of thing. If I do like it, I'll tell you the good stuff. If I don't, I'll, I'll tell you too. So I don't hold back. I don't have no problem telling you guys because you guys, uh, it's probably better. I want you guys to know the real info. Okay, so I have not used it under disguise. Now, I did just pull it out before. Man, is this guy heavy. And I do mean heavy. This sucker is about 18, 19 pounds. Now, just so you guys understand, uh, you guys saw my other videos, or if you haven't, take a look at them. My 6-inch Evo Star, that's a 6-inch F8 Apple Chromatic, that's a big scope. That is about 21, 22 pounds. This guy is 18 to 19. It's just a few pounds more, yet it's only a 90 millimeter refractor. Um, actually, everything looks amazing about this guy. Going to this size, it's just going to be awesome. Um, Mead now puts a uh, dual speed 
uh, and it's a rack and pinion focuser on it compared to just a helical uh, focusers under all other models. So that is great. Now it's not a feather touch or moonlight, but it is a good focuser. And I like how it's um, rack and pinion because a lot of the crayfruit uh, focusers, um, they'll slip once you put something heavy on a camera, um, uh, heavy eyepiece type of thing like that. So the rack and pinion being that actually has like teeth uh, It will not slip. So that's amazing. This guy is made Man totally solid construction metal everything about this. I'm just impressed um, So this time I'm not sure I have anything bad to say about this Mead solar scope uh, thing. It is maybe actually maybe the weight is a little much but, you know, anything that weighs that amount um, is actually going to be good quality. It's going to be heavy duty. It's not going to be wishy-washy. It's not going to be any plastic parts. So this guy is really great. Um, it comes with, the, of course, the Carnado Focuser. Let me see. Yeah, i got to put it more here for you guys. Um, I got it with the BF15, which is great. Uh, BF5 or the BF6 that the Lunt has, they're too small. You guys should go at least BF10, uh, BF12. Uh, so this one's the 15, it's even better. So the hole on it's just going to be just better. I actually liked the tilt tuner um, on this new Solar Max 3. Now, the internal one that's in the Solar Max 2 has a lot more place. So it can tilt a lot more, but I just don't like it. I don't like the internal. It's just uh, harder to work. I like the internal. And, of course, it also, uh, the front, you can actually adjust it uh, as well. Here's uh, the, met the cap on the front is actually screws off. So it just doesn't pop out. Uh, so that makes it really safe. Uh, it'll never just fall off. You have to actually unscrew it about 10 times. This is what it looks like, guys. Whoa. Let me get into the camera there. So that's what it looks like. Uh, again, here's a picture. There's the finder. Here's the focuser. I think it's a fine focuser. Um, it, now, it comes with uh, two rings and bars instead of the older models coming with a clamp. Uh, and then it didn't even come with a bar. You would have to do that. This guy is really heavy. Wow. I'm not even sure, really, um, a CG4 is going to be able to handle it. You probably got to put it on a CG5, EQ5 for sure, being this weight. And if you're going to be doing imaging, astrophotography, I think you even have to step it up. You probably got to put it on the HEQ5, maybe even the EQ6 if you want a rock solid uh, type of thing. Now, it isn't too long, so that helps it out too. What's also good about this newest Solar Max 3 is that if you take the front filter off and you take the blocking filter off, so if you take the blocking filter off and you take the front filter off, basically you have a 90 millimeter um, refractor. I really don't need a 90 millimeter refractor. I got a 102 Takahashi, I got a 102 F5 Skywatcher. I have enough. Uh, refractors that I don't need to do that, but for you guys that may be looking for a solar scope, because the, uh, the 70 is the same thing. So if you get the 70, you can take off the front filter, you can take off the blocking filter, of course you got to put a diagonal, regular diagonal in the back, and then you have a, uh, a nighttime solar, sorry, a nighttime, you know, regular refractor. So that's what's good about the, this newest model, it actually, it's a dual purpose, where the other ones, and I'm not even sure any other company makes a, a dual purpose, because usually they just make it strictly for viewing the sun. So, you know, really guys, I don't have anything bad to say about this. It looks amazing, feels amazing, the quality is there. Actually, before I end it, uh, the case is very nice. It's pretty big box. Now, what I like, it comes with the Coronado uh, Barlow and then the full set of C-Max C eyepieces. The 25, the 18, and the 12. Now, just in case some of you guys are thinking, what is the, di the difference of a regular eyepiece and 
the eyepiece is made for like something like this, made for solar viewing. Okay, really guys, what it is, it's going to be the same thing. These are like a decent quality uh, Palazzo eyepiece, four element, uh, probably 50 or 52 degree field of view. Um, the only difference is going to be these ones have like the broadband coatings on it are actually slightly better made for the HA format or the hydrogen format. So uh, is it going to make a big deal? Uh, no, probably not a big deal, uh, but it makes a, a small thing. It's kind of like on my other videos, do planetary filters, are they good or, and do they work? Uh, yes, they kind of work, but it's very, very minimal. So again, uh, having the dedicated eyepieces for the solar viewing, you don't really need them. You can use any eyepieces you have. It's just the coatings on them, slightly different than the regular eyepieces. So it does enhance it, but it's going to be minute. But again, you know, every little bit helps uh, when viewing whatever, you know, if you're viewing nebulas and you're... Uh, there's special filters for them, planetary, there's filters for them. If you're doing imaging, it has special filters. So, you know, it's, it, it's a plus, I think. Uh, it is minimal, it's just the coatings are slightly better. But uh, who cares? It does help. So if it makes the difference between uh, seeing a flare, um, and it makes it like 5% brighter or easier to see, then who cares? It, it's coming free with the uh, scope here anyway. So that's what the Coronado Solar Scope looks like. Um, if you're thinking of um, getting a solar scope, I think you should really seriously consider the Coronado line. They're huge sales on right now. Again, I got mine from Harut at um, Markanian Optics, Fine Optics in BC. Check him out, he'll treat you well. Uh, he's always uh, been good to me. Um, I only started uh, visiting him uh, maybe since last year. So give him a shout if you need anything. You, know, you live in Canada or even if you live overseas, uh, U.S. too, why not? And you can't find what you want down there. Um, but anyway, guys, comment below, like. If you uh, know anybody interested in astronomy, science, space type of thing, and they're not on my channel and you think they might like it, pass on the word share, subscribe if you haven't, uh, and I will see you on the next video. Cheers.